Hello students, welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to see a screenshot tool which is called GoWitness. So GoWitness is a website screenshot utility written in Go that uses Google Chrome headless to generate screenshot of web interfaces using the command line with a handy report viewer to process results both Linux and Mac OS is supported uh, with some uh, with Windows supports uh, mostly like okay so this is a go witness uh, it it will uh, like take screenshots of uh, like websites and website pages and uh, it is a very good tool and uh, for installation of this tool we have to just uh, go to here uh, click here. So uh, one more thing that it is inspired by eyewitness. So let's open this in a new tab and it is also a same tool. Uh, so the working principle is same. Okay. So uh, but I am using this. I will only show you one tool because it will be a waste of time uh, uh, if I show you every tool. So there is a one more tool. HTTPS screenshot so you can also install it so there are many tools okay so i am only showing you one tool uh, because of uh, time and everyone's time is like uh, very very much uh, uh, like valuable so that's why so one more thing that we have to also install google chrome uh, in your uh, linux or ubuntu for that okay so uh, for downloading it just click on download button here and uh, uh, in the download section if I go to their download section, uh, which, uh, first of all, let me show you that uh, click on here and click on this. Uh, uh, if you are on Ubuntu and your operating system is based on Debian, then click on here. If you are on Fedora, then click on here and install it. Okay. So uh, for that, uh, like uh, accept and install and a file will be installed here. So so I am going to cancel it because I have already installed it here. So it is in download section uh, as you can see here. And uh, to install it, you have to just write this command dpkg-i and then Google Chrome this file name. Okay. So this is the dpkg is a package installer and it will install this. Okay. So run it with sudo privileges. And uh, it will be installed. Okay. So I am uh, like closing it. And... Uh, after that, uh, your Google Chrome must be set into the path. It will be automatically set, but uh, if uh, any problems occur, then you can also uh, like use that. So the installation of this tool is also very similar to other Go installation. And let's paste it here and just it will be installed. I have already installed it. Uh, so uh, let's copy it from like using the sudo go uh, then uh, bin then like go witness and just paste it to user local then bin okay so in this way just copy uh, just uh, run this command and after that we can see that here is a uh, we have created that uh, all uh, subdomains file so we will use this file only so let's i am going to cat it and show you how it works so uh, we will not use all this uh, like subdomains we will use only uh, we will uh, like uh, first of all we will sort uh, with uh, unique subdomains and then we will pass it to httpx okay and then we will pass this output to like uh, active underscore subs dot txt okay so these subdomains will be active and we will only test on that okay so let's uh, like uh, httpx so there was a spelling mistake and now it will discover all the live uh, like working subdomains okay and we will use uh, this subdomain file on our like go witness so if you want to see the like uh, usage then you can come to this page and you can go to here okay usage file. Uh, so it has now gathered and if I ls now you can see that it has created uh, where this is active subs.txt and we will uh, first of all you will see the usage here. Uh, so I am going to close it from here. So here is the usage. There is a very simple usage. We have to just write the go witness tool name. Then if you want to like uh, scan for a like specific uh, 
means we want to get a specific screenshot then you can run this command okay so let's run this command okay so let's paste it here let's see it uh, grabs the uh, screenshot or not so you can also specify uh, like file or, or also uh, for that i am going to show it here uh, so there are also many options you can like just research and here it has generated a screenshot directory and if you go to this not by here we have to go it in uh, like here and let's go to desktop and then hacker one then hacker one domains then screenshot and here you you will get a like screenshot of this uh, whole website called twitter.com and uh, now we are going to uh, like use this file and for that i will first write go witness and then after that i will write file and then uh, dash f and then active subs.txt okay and then i will press enter so sub uh, some sub uh, some subdomains are not working so it is uh, giving the error uh, remote connection is not uh, successful and uh, uh, hand uh, handshake failure okay so if i ls and go to this screenshot directory you will see that there are many uh, screenshot has been taken by this tool okay so this tool uses a uh, uh, like uh, uh, first of all i am uh, going to this so this tool uh, uses uh, google chrome for taking screenshot so google chrome must be installed otherwise it will uh, show you an error so this is from api.hacker1.com here is the subdomain as you can see this and this is called uh, like docs.hacker1.com and there are like uh, gs link and there is a uh, big subdomain uh, mta.sts.forwarding so this is a github page i think so this is also the same this is also the same and uh, uh, this is the twitter one okay so uh, where is the hacker one website i think it has not taken that screenshot so i am going to take screenshot of that So I am going to write here single and then I am going to use the URL hacker1.com okay. So it will take a screenshot of hacker1.com. I am doing it because it was on, not on the subdomains file. That's why it is not uh, giving the screenshot. Let it complete and now it has been completed and this is the screenshot of hacker one if i uh, open this and zoom it into then you can see that the whole website screenshot is here as you can see here so this is a visual recon tool and it is a very useful tool according to me and it is on uh, your uh, preferences how you can use this tool okay so let's meet on the next video